Angie Kay, you set the ladies up with a house in San Diego, which was supposed to be Jen's last hurrah before the trial. So did you feel like you were the hostess of the trip? I felt that I was a co-hostess. Typically, when this group has gone on a trip, Jen has the best room. What did you ladies think when Angie took the biggest bedroom? Trouble. <laughs> you thought it was going to be trouble. Yeah. Well, just the energy. You could feel that Jen was amping up, you know. What, why do you think it bothered Jen so much that you were taking hostess reign? <laughs> to be totally truthful, I feel that Jen wanted me in the group, but with conditions, and that I had to always kind of stay down here on a leash, right? And what message do you think she was sending by pouring the champagne on you? Let's, let's do this. <gasps> oh, Are you serious, Jen? Yeah, I am serious. You're below me. Stay quiet and don't try and take this trip over. She wanted to tell me that she was in control. So she claimed that pouring the champagne was meant to be a funny joke. She wasn't laughing or smiling when she did it. Um, it wasn't funny. No, it was not. So did anyone here think it was... Funny. I didn't think Nobody it was funny. Laughed. You kind of thought when it was I funny. When I saw it play back, I saw the humor in it. I really, did. where, Heather? Where? She said on the show it was a it's fun, a fun bitch when I watched it back. That's yeah. it. No, it was there not was, funny. Nobody found it That's funny. funny. We all have funny, different opinions. There's bit. jokes or you make that I don't humor. think are funny. Yeah. I, I didn't pour champagne on your head. I wouldn't pour champagne on your head. But it was fun to watch it I've never poured champagne on your head. If you want to crucify me for saying it was a fun bitch move, well, it's very You're going to have a really like hard me, time Heather, surviving on this couch. Funny one bit. Susan from Philly said Angie K actually equated Jen not paying her back for the party to her conning people out of money, which is what she said Jen was indicted for. Uh, Heather and Meredith, what's your response to that? Below the belt. It was just hard for me it's, to see. They've been a little so bit close. Much They've been so close. Yeah, a little champagne. So by confronting Jen in front of the a group, little champagne, did it take a bucket for me to? grasp the intention of the disrespect. I'm not saying that, Angie, and I'm not defending her doing it. Don't misunderstand me. Clearly, you, you are, are totally minimizing I am it not minimizing and supporting it. I'm her. saying that you are taking it to a level. Let's see what happens when I dump a drink on your head if and I'm how you sweats feel. If I'm at home like, and have owner salon girl, and can blow it out myself and not think twice, Hair, I would, I would makeup, have maybe be a little just irritated, just like you did but that morning. I wouldn't have completely taken something to that level is what Coming I'm from, no, it wasn't that one moment. It went back months and years. I was just at my tipping point with her. I had held Why my composure with, with her him? through calling me a f***ing bitch, a f***ing fake bitch, a f***ing thirsty bitch. You talked to Lisa, you f***ing fake fraud bitch. She got you mad. We weren't allowed to text we each were, other. I, I Neither were Meredith and I. Like, there were many moments, go, Heather's oh, choir, you're bugging me and you're only she here because of me. It goes back to what you said earlier. Stay down here, bitch. Stay on your leash or you're out. May I ask you something, though, Angie? Sure. Why am I responsible to know all of that? I didn't know any of that. Meredith, you don't need to know my history with Jen, but just reading the room in that moment of how uncomfortable I was. I mean, you should work in a cubicle. You apparently have zero people skills. No, I don't work in a cubicle, and my business is extraordinarily social. I have very good people skills, Angie. I haven't been the one trying to get on the show for three years. I have not called oh, okay. anyone. Referred oh, by one, right. two, right. and three. Okay. Trying all right. to get on the show. I'm from... Okay. Salt Lake okay. City, okay? okay. Very yeah, good. I know okay. people here. All right. Oh, okay. good. I'm not like your first okay. birthday Moving party on. where it Moving wasn't on. your party. Moving it was on. Jen's party. Moving on. Um, Angie Kay, you pissed off Meredith and Heather by telling Lisa uh, what Meredith had said about the SEC filing. Why, why bring it up? Uh, well, I am friends with Lisa, and I brought it up for a couple reasons. Two days before we went to San Diego, Jen was trying to expose... Heather's business to me. And, you know, I don't want to embarrass you because it wasn't kind. And she sat right, there go sending me, she <laughs> sent me all this information, she dug. calling you a lying bitch ass hoe, saying that she was going to expose your ass, okay? Two days later, I'm watching her with you and Meredith in the car doing the exact, exact same, same thing. thing to Lisa. And I was very triggered. I wanted to get the hell out of that car. Mm -hmm. And the only way that I felt like I could make it right was to share with Lisa, this Which is I'm what was being said. Did. And who is next, me? I've worked my ass off for my business and reputation, and I know you both have too, and I did not like it. What's your reaction to hearing that she was trash talking your business? I think it's par for the course with Jen. And my business stands for itself, you know? I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of how it started. Does it offend you or upset you to hear that? 
Well, it's just, I find it interesting how we have this selective morality. Like, we're, we'll do it with Jen when it's about someone that we want to do it with, but nobody informed me until they found out that Jen couldn't carry the ball to the finish line and didn't give me an ultimatum or do whatever she wanted to do. So how do we pick and choose when we're just going to, like, stand up for truth and righteousness? It Wait seems like it's never on my behalf. That's but lumping a lot of people in together. I'm not lumping in. I, I didn't, didn't say anything about No, 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 no just but just by on. saying when we all go along with it, I have never gone along with any schemes with Jen. I have never participated in that. And I actually think it's wrong when Jen does that. And I've always tried to help her to not do bad things. Okay, let's change gears.